My name is Natalie Brosh. I'm 10 years old and I enjoy swimming and playing the piano. I have three brothers. The oldest one is Robert and he's eight years old. I also have two younger brothers that are younger than him. They just turned six this month. Natalie's a terrific kid. Um, she's a real go-getter. She um, enjoys school. She enjoys her friends. And, um, and Kathy and I feel very fortunate to have her as our daughter. She was six months old and fractured her humerus. We started to realize there's something going on here. I mean, that just doesn't happen to children. It doesn't happen to babies. So we found Dr. Sponseller at Hopkins, and he diagnosed her when she was about nine months old. I have osteogenesis imperfecta, which makes it so my bones break more easily than other people's. I've broken 19 bones, and some years I don't break any at all, and some years I break two or three. Usually most of my bones crack right in half, so that makes it so I have to have a cast. 19 is a lot <laughs> um, for most people because most people don't break any in their whole lifetime. She's had about seven surgeries and she just recently had a surgery on her leg so that the leg will grow straight now. It's actually not too bad. I mean. I can do what other people do, and if somebody had just met me, they wouldn't have any idea that my bones break more easily than other people. She sees it as part of herself. It's part of her makeup, but it is not the only thing about her. Woo! I also shoot basketball with Robert and Dad and the twins. I swim for the Bel Air Athletic Club, and my favorite stroke is butterfly, but I also do backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. Swimming is really good for me, and plus, since my brothers, they do soccer, basketball, and swimming, and since I do it, we've become kind of like a swimming family. I like playing piano a lot. I can put as much feeling into it as I want. She likes to practice the piano, and she writes her own songs, too. At my school, Homestead Wakefield Elementary, I am in the Wildcat course. Our music teacher is the one that directs the chorus, and she was the one that we had to try out for. Um, Mrs. Scarborough is her name. She is very nice. She has the spirit that that is just, she keeps going, and she does it in a real upbeat manner. She teaches us a lot about strength and courage. She seems to have such a great attitude, no matter what the circumstances are. I just want people to know that having osteogenesis imperfecta doesn't really actually make me any different than anybody else. You know, when your child is ill or has a problem, the thing that you want is for that child to feel better. And Johns Hopkins Children's Center really nurtures the children. I like going to the Children's Center because there are other kids there that have been through what I've been through. Plus, the, um, Johns Hopkins Children's Center is kid-friendly. When you think about that there's a place that is spe specially devoted to children, children who maybe didn't get what can be considered the most fair shake in life, but that if they can be given the best treatment so that they have the opportunities to succeed, to excel. And, and that's what the doctors and the whole healthcare team at Johns Hopkins Children's Center have provided for Natalie. We are here to support her in whatever dreams and goals she makes for herself. Maybe all of these obstacles along the way make her stronger, give her spirit, and she's actually having a really great life and she's enriching our lives too.